Hello everyone, I'm logged in here to the Neighbours new app. So you can see it, the first screen is a dashboard, it says welcome to our new app. I have different discover features here and I can add favourite features. So I'm going to click on add favourite and I'm going to enable the things that I use the most. So that would be amenities and service requests. So I'm going to save those two as favourites. You can save whatever features you use the most and you can access them easily from here. Before we go to any features, I'm just going to show you the other buttons at the bottom here. So we have search, so you can search for anything throughout the app. I have home, so I have all the different features that are enabled here. And I can search here as well. And notifications, so I can see any notifications that I might have. All right, so we're going to navigate from home and the first thing we're going to do is click on notices. So here, if there were any notices posted in the community, I'd be able to see them here. In talk to, I can send messages. So I can send a message to the manager, for instance. So I would click on new message. I would insert the subject, uh, what I wanted to say, and then send that message off. Then we're going to go down to service requests. So for a service request, I'm going to click on new service request. I'm going to choose a subject. So it is a front gate issue. Um, so not opening. And I'm going to create here. And that is currently in progress and has been opened. If I want to include any images or documents here, I would insert a message here and I can include any attachments from my phone. All right, then moving down, we have the chat. So talk to you, I can send a message to manager, any staff. In chat, I can message other residents. So um, I'm going to send a mis message to my new neighbor. His name's Bob. And I'm going to see if he wants to come around for dinner. All right, I can attach a file. I can create a group message as well, so include other people, and I can send that off. Perfect, so that has been sent. Then down to social network, I can see any posts that people have included here. And I can create a new post as well by clicking on that plus button. I can choose the different category, include the title, write my post and attach any file and then publish. Then classified recommendations and lost and found are all part of the social network, so I won't go through that again. In the community calendar, I have any events that are coming up in the community. So I can see what's happening if tomorrow there are any events, any classes. You can see that all in the calendar. Then amenity reservation. So in the amenities, I have the different things that my community has. So I'm going to book the clubhouse. I want it for Saturday and I want it from 12 until 4 p.m. So I need to include a reason. So it's a birthday party and this is my community. Yours will have its own rules to so confirm that reservation. I accept the terms of use. So I've accepted those terms of use. Click on accept. And it's been successfully booked. Then going down, if there was ever an incident in the community, if I wanted to report a violation, I would do that in incident reporting. So click on the plus button, the type of incident, when it happened, um, date and time. If you know who committed that violation, include that. Otherwise, you can leave that blank. Include the description and attach any files as well. And then create that. And then heading down to the members directory, everyone in the community is listed here. So I can view the information that they've chosen to share and I can send them a message straight from here as well. Then documents. You can view any documents that the community has. This will download to your phone. It will not open in the app, but it does download to your phone so that you can see that I need to give access. 
uh, to the app to see photos and media. So I'm going to allow that and it has been opened and I can open the file by clicking there and that is opening. All right, so heading back. Then we have a couple more features here in my community. So we have meetings. If there's a community meeting that's online, you'd be able to join it here by clicking on it. And on the date, you'd be able to join that meeting. So it says meeting unavailable, but on the day of a online meeting through neighbors, you'd be able to join here. And then finally, voting slash surveys. If there were any open surveys, I would be able to vote in those. And that is the new Neighbours by Vintium app. I hope you enjoyed this tour. I hope it was useful. And do leave any comments with questions or feedback down below. Thank you so much. Bye.